All right. Ooh. Money. So we are now on the third floor. This is in here somewhere. Where is this at? Ah, of course it's going to be on the upper floor. That would make the most sense. That's where they always are. Huh. Maybe there is something up here that is different. This is going to kill me. No, it's not my enemy. Okay. I'm going to calm down then. Okay. gonna look at everything here. Alright, well, in that case... I was nervous about these things, but I'm not nervous anymore because it's on my side. It must have been the hacking thing that I did. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure they would be attacking me. You die in an awkward position. Oh, there's probably been more awkward. Let's see. You. No, give me the thing. Thank you. Sorry, um, didn't mean to, uh, be in your way there. Okay, so that is another way up, definitely. I thought there was another door around here I could go into. Here. Oh, this leads to the same location. So it, it's, it's not actually a new way. Ah, and now we have this way. Lore tree. Lore tree. <laughs> not exactly. By the end of this game, I'm going to be more rich than most of the people in Byzantium. I get the feeling. I mean, I already had more than enough to, like, pay off that one girl's debt. Right, where am I? I'm here, on the top floor. Its weak point is in its stomach, and it in. So it's, 
I gotta wait for it to turn around, really. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. Okay, so out and around here. Looks like there was another way up here. Oh, it's sealed. I can't go that way. Never mind. Why did I put my gun away? There's still people. Things. Whatever. Okay. More reading. Archives. A memo. Irby, take a memo. Actually, hang on. Let me get a cigarette. Alright, take a memo. I want to personally walk down to HI and wrap my hands around the necks of every law forsaken excuse for a researcher whose indenturement con contract you're stupid enough to sign. Who signed those anyway? Were they drunk at the time? Why are we hiring researchers who can't deliver the test results we want? Am I crazy? Is this an unreasonable expectation? Is supply and demand a foreign concept to these people? When I request a zero-G brew, I expect a moderately cold glass of something reasonably alcoholic in my hand. So that way, the space is choice brand. When I request test results, I expect to see scientifically proven, medically verified evidence that the time is a miracle drug. I didn't ask for a long list of dangerous side effects. I asked for adjectives. Can't turn high rate of violent confusion into a marketing copy, Irby. What in law's name am I supposed to do with side effects include paranoia and suicide? And so you just screwed us with our pants on. The cerebral committee's losing their collective mind. Now I need to go pat them all on the shoulder and wipe away their sad little tears and tell them everything's going to be all right. Why are you still typing? Don't put that down. I was just rambling. Irby, take a memo. I'm getting real sick with Clarence mostly. Remind me again why we bought him on the project. He's not part of the Spacer's Choice family. He's never been a part of the Spacer's Choice family. The Mosleys, what do they do again? Oh yeah, they peddle furniture. I'm a manager at Halcyon's most recognizable brand name, in affordable goods and services. I don't need a management advice from some guy whose family designed my footstools. Actuaries should stick to actual work. Don't go advising me to turn a screw in Jasper Lowe and those lab coats at Kemp. I know what I'm doing. Hang on, I need a cigarette. Alright, where was I? Oh yeah, take a memo. We need to turn the screw on Jasper Lowe and those lab coats at Kemp. I want you to draft up an official order. Tell Kem, hang on, let me think. Yeah, tell Kem they need to fire one in ten researchers. And that we're slashing their deadlines in half. It's a Roman solution. We could learn a lot from them, the Romans. They pretty much invented discipline. Uh, for inaudible sake, all our quarterly reports, all of them, gone. Hard copies, terminal data, it's gone. We can't even sick degenerate destroys quarterly reports. We got a surprise audit scheduled. What am I supposed to show the auditors? I need to send a message down to the receptionist. No auditors allowed. And I need to talk to the committee immediately. Why are you typing, Irby? I didn't ask you to take a fucking memo. Delete this. Hey, are you listening? Alright. There's that. Hmm. I mean, nothing that we didn't already know, really. That's not even a door. There's a thing up there. Okay. Let's clear out this floor. Oh, I'm supposed to be in here. No one with an honest job has an office this nice. Sorry, I just want to see what's over here. Any more enemies? No. Okay. Let's raid this place then. Take a look at that. Flurry. Uh, speedy mate barrel. Ooh. 
fast firing weapon, but it's only level 26. And I'm at the point now where I have much more stuff. Oh, and they spin up before they're able to fire. Okay, I see. This guy had lots of ammo and just money sitting around in here. I think this is what we need. Let's see. Admin functions. Unlock synthesis and manufactory center. Uh, override the lockdown. Uh, transmission staff directory protocol activates. Please visit transmission tower alpha for staff directory. Uh, Okay, so I think I have to go somewhere else to lift the lockdown. Chem lab. Okay. Messages. I thank you for oh that incoming messages from Ambrose. Uh, she's all recordings high priority. Bring them to me immediately, and for F's sake, don't let the journalist off this effing asteroid. Oh. The recordings of that guy. Production schedule. You think you can hide from me, you little twerp? I know that a serum that will make you feel as if you've lived a thousand years in eight hours. How would you like to spend the night in waste processing? Cheers, Ollie. Yeah, okay. I don't care if the inbred simpletons at headquarters were just having a laugh. Customers don't know what it means. If you can choose from the list of acceptable alternatives, uh, whatever. Okay. Weird. I saw that. Uh, return to messages. Outgoing. If you're receiving this message, I'm currently unavailable in my absence. I have instructed my secretary, Herbert Harold, to reply to any incoming messages with the pre approved response. Okay. Great timing. I was sending Irby over to your department with a preliminary production schedule. I was with so much of the work we do at OCI. The design of a produ produ production schedule is more of an art than a science. Timetables and milestones are less contractual obligation, more aspirational cartography. Okay. To Gorgon managers approved. Next time, allow me to make this kind of announcement myself. Mr. M Mr. Mostly hierarchy exists for a reason. Uh, most of you are familiar with Odeon Pictures, Byzantium's premier purveyor of aetherwipe drama and drama-adjacent ent entertainment. Some of my personal associates with Odeon Pictures have launched a satellite studio called Pictureless Pictures, which emphasizes radio programs and serials intended to excite the senses and palpitate the glands. I have received a request to approve a radio documentary program examining the lives and contributions of space choice scientists operating on Gorgon. The name of this documentary is Moments with Genius. I do not approve of the superfluous exclamation point, but I approve of the general idea. Okay. Archived. This is a waste of my time. The last thing a team needs is a fleet of gad flies descending on the labs and asking stupid questions. We're moths, months behind as it is. However, because Lucian demanded it, I will consider the program's request if the follow conditions are met. Lucian guarantees me the right to review and approve the recordings. The journalists are confined to Gorgon for the duration of the project. Oh, I see. This is where I see. It could be years. Make sure they understand that if they leak the details of our work to the press, I'll put a hit out on them myself. I know people, Lawrence. The journalists bunk in shipping and receiving. We can't have them fraternizing with the project staff outside of their scheduled interviews. These people are our enemies, not our friends. No one will be coming down with an acute case of friendship on my watch. My team will not be held responsible for inevitable delays in tomfoolery. This uh, will cause. The only individual who will be working overtime on this is you. Oh, what? Hi! That would be me. Who the hell are you? Call me the ghost of Gordon. Or its warden. This place is a graveyard. All that was done here should be forgotten and left to rot. That's the best argument you got? Don't. Gorgon 
is the birthplace of marauders. Oh, it was. We okay. We created them here, in this very facility. They are our misbegotten children, born of hubris and vanity. Marauders were created? Those bastards! But marauders are just mindless lunatics, right? There can't be more to it I than thought, that. yeah, I thought that same thing, Ellie. They hold no fondness for trespassers. I've placed the facility under emergency lockdown to keep them safe. Let the marauders die in peace. Or I will make certain that you die with them. What do they mean? How do you create marauders? I used to think it was just life trying to kill us. Star for a week, fight to the death for a good night's sleep. We were all a little mad. Marauders were just the folks who embraced it. I always figured they were townies who spent too long on the factory line. Guess there's more to it. Whatever circuits are bad here, we'll root them out. There we go. Okay. Well. I see. That is interesting. But I am not going to be uh, turned away just because someone's someone goes oogity boogity in my general direction. I do play horror games. <laughs> The meeting began with traditional recitation of the passage from the Space Choice user manual, followed by a regulation roll call. Every member of the Cerebral Committee was present. Most of you implement the revised guidelines on linguistic cleanliness and company-approved language was brought to the table. The motion passed unanimously. The motion to award Miriam Kumara and Law Lawrence Goodfellow with their uh, commendations on their permanent record was brought to the table. The motion passed unanimously. The motion to file a demerit on the permanent records of Dr. Jasper Lowe and Dr. Marion Blacksley was brought to the table. Motion passed unanimously. Motion to redact any record of derelict employees, missing employees, employee dissertation, or instance of workplace violence from official company documents was brought to the table. The motion passed unanimously. A motion to dismiss the meeting early was brought to the table by Lawrence Goodfell in the spirit of conviviality and good humor. The motion was likewise passed unanimously. The cerebral committee adjourned for zero G and cigarettes. Well, and everyone's taking Adrena time. Okay, then, I guess we head up. Right? So now that upper exterior, the exit that we were found before, should be open to us now. And we have access to an upper floor, which we didn't actually have before. There was another elevator early on, but that elevator is surrounded by force fields that we can't get past. So this is the only way that we've found so far that lets us go. The tower is going to lead us to someone with answers or more warnings and riddles. Who knows? of marauders. We ought to have left well enough alone. Now we're in it. Come hell or high water, we've got to see this through. That is true. I'm hoping this leads us to someone we can talk with face to face. Or punch, if it Punching? comes to that. Punching would be fun too, yes. Okay, so let's see. I have a couple choices here as to what I can do. I can try going back on the ground and just looking at everything on the ground area. Or I can start heading up here. I kind of want to start heading around up here, so that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to pass this bridge, work my way over to this, because that's a quest, and then over to this. There's also some stuff there that maybe I can unlock that elevator and it would be nice. Um, also, I'm probably going to unlo unlock some fast travel areas over here anyway, so that'll just be fine. So anyway, we're going this way. As long as it will let me, I guess. Now that you're all high society, you gonna start shitting gold too? Are you kidding? I'll eat my big cartridges before I waste them on shit like that. We stick together after all this? I'll hold you to that. 
I just might. Someone's gotta watch your ass. <laughs> Secret hideout. Um all the passive exclusive to members of the Secret Society of Super Science Sidekicks! To gain access to this sacred sanctum, you must prove you are a true and worthy fan of the Im inimitable, inestimable, incomparable Ace Exterminator Archibald Excelsior. Interested? Find us in the following location and, and demonstrate your worth. Uh, by the marvelous mustache of Excelsior. Find all these people. Okay. Ah. A dialogue between dead men. Thank you for using Gimsy. Oh, whatever. Friendly reminder, your messages are whatever to those who come after. It's not the best choice, it's the only choice. Um, Gorgon's gone to hell and we don't expect it to come back. So the secret society of super science sidekicks are slipping out while there's still ships to catch. And we're leaving our replica PET behind. Can't say what it's what we wanted, not after the shit we churned through to make it, but it's what our fearless leader, the inimitable Archibald Excelsior, would have asked of us. Now, if you're reading this, that means you're a scavenger. Scavenging takes daring, gumption, and a dash of rank. Reckless stupidity. Just the kind of qualities Archibald's been known to prize. And just the kind of person worthy of our PET. The best and only prototype past extermination, Trenchian, and all of Halcyon. If you want it, friend, it's yours. All you gotta do is pass our test and prove yourself a true fan of Archibald Excelsior, Ace Exterminator. So, we get a weapon if we manage to make it in there, I guess. Huh. Well then. Hmm. Aha. I see. Interesting. Okay. Still, good to know that it's there. I like these, the, the grass. I, I know that's silly, but I like how pretty it is. <laughs> So, oh. Wait, we've been here, haven't we? Yes, I walked through here before. Okay. Well, I didn't even need the elevator. I could have just gone up this way. Oh well. This is fine. Where's this go, anyway? Okay, we're actually just down here. Okay, I was wrong about how the map was gonna work. I assumed that we were just gonna go around this way, but no, we're down here. Not that that's a terrible thing, I'm just... Oh, this is another thing I wanted to see. The big dragon on the side of the cliff here. I know bones. But I don't know what that is. It's a dragon. It's a llama? And I say you're wrong. It's a dragon. Hi. Have you ever seen a finer specimen of a llama? Before? It's not a llama. I'm telling you, this isn't the rock. We need to turn back. This is the spot. Now keep your eyes peeled. The dead drop is at the foot of the alpaca, he said. And this is the alpaca. Uh... Llama. What was that? It's a llama we're after, sir. Not an alpaca. And this is neither. I seem to llama, recall... Alpaca, there was a llama thing. rock, wasn't there? Llama. They aren't the same at all, sir. Believe it or not... Enough! We've got company. Out with it, then? Who are you? Are you survivors from that crash ship by the landing pad? I'm the captain of that crashed vessel, to be perfectly accurate. Why start now? <laughs> what was that, first mate? 
Just talking to myself again, sir. We're on the hunt for a package. It's supposed to be at the foot of this handsome-looking alpaca-shaped rock. Llama? Oh, wait. I did find a package, didn't I? I told you. Didn't I tell you? How many times did I tell you, Captain? I... I believe I owe you an apology, First Mate. What? It's true. I wouldn't know an alpaca from a raptodon, and as a captain, that's a mark against my good name. Can you ever forgive me? Llama. Uh, I don't know what to say. Uh, uh, I'll start. Thank you, stranger. Maybe she'll listen to your crew from now on. I think you're right. What is a crew if not people who can remedy a captain's flaws now and then? Well, what's a family for if not pointing out your flaws? <laughs> Indeed. And some of them have Where are many, you standing, Nioka? Stop stop kissing well, the guy thanks, who can only captain. talk about llamas. <laughs> Let's say we head over to the Sprat Shack and I'll buy the first round just to show there's no hard feelings. Llama. Here's my cut. <laughs> I'd say you've earned it. And here's a little something extra for your time. Ooh. Pleasure was mine, first mate. Be seeing you, and thanks again. Llama. I think second mate has taken too many Adrena times. Chrono adaptive outfit. Hold on. Hold on. Ooh, what's this? Alright, I got that. Flurry. That was another thing I got. Uh, I got an outfit. Ooh. Handgun TTD drain minus 15. Ah. Oh. Interesting. Cool. Uh, not useful for me. But interesting, regardless. And this is a dragon. I it's a dragon. That's what it is. Fossil. It just calls it a fossil. Fine, I see how it is. Right, so this was the research site. Okay, I'll I'll find another way up up and around there. I'm going to continue this way. Whoa! Now, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Okay, there's a whole thing down there, and there's stuff up there too. is here. Anything really? Not really. Where am I? I'm here. Okay. Oh! I killed everyone. Tends to be the way things go. So I have it down this way. 
There'll be a lot to see. I hope there's a fast travel point somewhere close by. Never saw me. I saw another. There's someone? Someone else. There we go. Synthesis Mini Factory. Please be a fast travel location. Yes. Nice, because I'm probably going to have to go back after I loot everything around here. Yes, okay. Because I'm pretty sure all this- Whoa, it's if a- Alright. <laughs> As I was saying, I'm pretty sure all this stuff around here is, uh... Um, Alte Vitae, Alta Vitae, whatever junk. And as such, this is probably what we're looking for. Or am I? Am I still in the Alte Vitae thing, or is this, this is something different? This is the weird green goop. They're getting stuff and turning into like the other stuff. Right? I shouldn't be walking over here while I'm encumbered. But I am. Mostly I'm just hoping I can pick up something, because I can fast travel while I'm encumbered, so it's not a big deal. Okay, I made a complete... did I make a complete circle? I believe I have. And if I have... Basically I have. Okay, so then there's basically nothing over on this side. Good to know. In that case, I'll just fast travel back.